their club championship and we kick it away here in Pizza Hut Stadium. It is the final in Volterax. The mad scientist will start with it first. And take a look at this prize money. Drini could go over 300 grand and Volterax is really starting to add up. Yeah, I can't believe Volterax over 100K. You know, he's he really is a mad scientist and I, I'm very proud of him. He dedicated his, his life to salary cap in these last couple months and he's obviously not gonna regret that now. Yeah, Mo told us the story where Volt, who plays a lot of Mud Unlimited, got rid of his Mud Unlimited team and has been playing exclusively with that salary cap team. And boy, has that preparation paid wonders for young Michael Bryant from Williamstown, Massachusetts, a.k.a. Volterax. Can the man right there, Drini, get his third belt tie, Michael Skimbo. Get ready, get ready, Part of that ready. complexity gaming esports team that's certainly tied with the Dallas Cowboys. The Drini's paying tribute to his friend True Boy, who won the Jacksonville Club Championship some years ago. And here we go, Volterax will start with it first. Breeze hands it off to Chris Johnson and he stumbles. We're gonna mark him down at the 39. And if that's a sign of how things are gonna go, I don't like Drini's chances because it looked like Volt had a chance at a touchdown right there, just getting tripped up by his own offensive line and there was no one there to tackle him. And yeah, the stumble definitely saved the touchdown right there. And Volt just so good at identifying where the running lane is and hitting it. And that Chris Johnson gets up to 96 speed. So once he hits a lane, he's usually outy. So a second and three here on our opening drive. Drini committing a lot of people to the box to stop the run. And off Chris Johnson and he'll go nowhere. If you want to win against a guy like Bolt, getting hats on ball and tackle for losses is how you're going to do it. And early on, Drini showing a little bit of good run defense. Looked janky on first down, stayed strong on second down. What do you got on third down? It's going to be a third and seven with already a minute go by. With this running meta here in Madden NFL 20, these games can go by in a blink. Wouldn't be surprised if we seen Volt call a timeout right here. And that's the reason why Sirius Mo has won himself two belts. It just looked like he didn't have the numbers on his side. He came out on his play a little bit late. He, what we're going to see from both these players, they want to audible around, they want to motion around, try to get that defense uncomfortable. But for Volt, you know, you got to kind of realize what's going on here. And it looks like he has. He probably see a stretch lift here at some point. Drew Brees works himself under center here on third and seven. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Five nine. He's not thrown the ball many times since we went from 128 players down to just two. Hands it off to Chris Johnson. Uh oh, his way through, untouched. And the man from East Carolina, Chris Johnson, they won't catch him. And that's what I'm talking about. He's so slow and methodical. I know it looks crazy. He's just running the ball with Chris Johnson, but he's always going to be able to find the hole, and that's exactly what happened right there. Mo said the user tackling from Drini was going to be big in this game, and Drini just runs right past that Chris Johnson with his tackle supreme Tillman and pays the ultimate price. 68 yards on the opening drive, and he strikes first. And Volterax has hardly trailed this entire tournament. And once again, a big run, Mo. And look at the halfback dive. Drini had it. He probably thought somebody else was going to make the play, so he kind of forgot with his user. You cannot make a lapse in judgment like that. You've got to know that you've got to make that tackle with your user. Although you probably still would have gave up the first down, you could have easily prevented a touchdown there. Touchdown presented by Snickers. And all of a sudden, Drini finds himself RG down by a touchdown. I don't know what was more impressive, the touchdown run or Volt just staying so so stoic after a big play like that. I make a big play like that in a $25,000 game, you're gonna hear about it, but not with Volderax. He stays focused on the task at hand, and that is the mark of somebody who means business. So they'll set up their audibles and get ready to go. And we mentioned that Oakland playbook has so many formations that they need a little extra time to get going on the opening drive here for Drini. 
Interesting, we're seeing some 4-3 from Voltaire. And Eric Dickerson gets to the outside, and he pushed out of bounds at the 40-yard line after a gain of 13. Yeah, Volt's going to be in that 3-3-5 normal defense, but what it is, he's bringing that, he's going to bring that, that safety over and blitz him, so, so he's going to be able to shoot them gaps. Uh-oh. Good block there by Shazier. That'll spring Dickerson for another eight yards, and now we got a second and two. And if, if Volt doesn't change his look, Drini's going to be running that halfback dive all game. Goes right back to it. First down. A little bit more. He's on his feet, but knocked down at the 45. He's now in plus territory. It's a nice user tackle right there from Volt, especially with that Tillman. If you're able to get in there and lay a user hit stick, though it's not likely you will have a chance to cause a fumble, not many people have the stick work to get that done. If anybody does, it will be a guy like Volterex or Adrini. And Drini, you know, he's, you see him using this sub package right here. What he's doing, he's letting that Eric Dickerson kind of regain his, his energy right now. And that's, and ooh, he burned a timeout. It looked like Eric Dickerson was healthy right there, but he's going to go ahead and use the timeout so he doesn't rush a play and waste it down. I don't, I don't like, I don't like to see Drini come out in this gun tight formation. It looked like he was running the ball very easily. Dickerson. Takes it to the 36 now. Here comes the second and one. You think we'll see Volt at some point, Mo, maybe get down? We've seen him in some 3-4 defense. He seems committed to this nickel 3-3-5. I think we will because he looks extremely uncomfortable. Drini's quick snapping him, something we haven't seen a lot from players in this tournament. A lot of players taking their time, motioning around. Drini wanting to snap the ball as fast as he can. And there it is. Volt is in the 3-4 now, making an adjustment on defense. 7-0. Drini. Trying to get back in it. It's a spin move that springs him all the way down to the red zone. And similar to Drini, Volt with the bad user skill had the had the run stopped in the backfield, misses the tackle, and that's why Drini's able to spring out for a 20-yard gain. And that's part of what makes Eric Dickerson so dangerous. He's a beast. He'll fall forward, but he'll also hit you with that spin move and that agility. He really is the total package at the halfback position. You know your defense is stacked when Khalil Mack is maybe the eighth best player on your defense. Comes up with a big tackle there. Look for the jet, jet touch pass right here. John Ross, left or right? Hester. Hester. And he'll give it to Devin Hester. And I'm extremely impressed by Vol right there. What he did, he, he just shot down in the gap, blew it up himself with Troy Palomalu. And Drini's gonna have to pass right here. He hurries it up here on third down. Here comes the blitz! Drini is going to have to deal with that blitz when he passes. He does not have a modal quarterback. Phillip Rivers is candy in that pocket for those defenders, and they have sweet tooth. And, you know, Volt told me he wanted to play against this formation on defense, especially against the Phillip Rivers. He said his linebackers are just way too fast. He told me he's going to blitz seven every single time because Phillip Rivers will never be able to get the ball off. So Drini has to settle for a field goal. It will, looks like we'll have one more play here at the end of one. Volterax leads by four with the ball. High formation once again. And he'll hand off to Chris Johnson. He's brought down at the 34-yard line. So five minutes in the books. Volterax, he's been leading all tournament, and he leads here after the end of first quarter, seven to three. You think you have the best Madden knowledge around? Put it to the test with a new Twitch extension. Climb the leaderboard by earning points for every trivia or prediction question answered correctly. We'll also be dropping codes for the 93 overall Lamar Jackson. These are first come, first serve. So make sure you pay close attention throughout the broadcast. I mentioned all the players that we had. Over 75,000, top 32 have made it here to San Francisco, and they are still hanging out in the Snickers Players Lounge. Look at Skim breaking it down. But I think those might have been a little bit of nerves, ner nervous dance moves going on, because he knows Drini's going to be able to pass him. Boy, look at what Chris <laughs> Johnson has done for Volterax. Nearly almost 1,000 yards in the tournament. How about nine yards per carry, though? I'd hand it to my halfback every play, too. Well. Start of the second quarter here between Volterax and Drini. Volt representing the Cardinals, Drini representing the Jacksonville Jaguars. 
And he's going to need a stop as it's a second and seven. Volterax with his second possession of the ball game. Look how many people Drini is bringing down into the box. He's completely selling out on the run. This is what I love to see. High formation once again. Chris Johnson will dot the eye. And they'll go to him. Gets a block. Ooh. And I think Vita was the one that made the initial contact, but that's enough for the first down. And I just happened to look over at Voltrax, he, the man of no emotion. He looked, I looked over at him, he's just shaking his head in disbelief. He thought that was a touchdown. He got stuck behind his offensive lineman. And I don't like where Drini's standing with that Tillman. It's looking like he's allowed himself to get picked up by some blocks and it's leaving him susceptible to that dive. He is lucky Volt didn't take that to the cribbo. Look for Drini to make an adjustment. See him with that Tillman? It almost feels like the man versus the machine. Can Drini make a user play? And Troy Palomalu, long hair, don't care. And Voltrax is going to have to make something happen. He doesn't want to live on third and fourth and long, trust me. He has nobody, no receivers out there, all tight ends and a running back. He's going to have to pick up a lot of yards on this play. And some people were confused. They said, he has Drew Brees at quarterback. Most at the best. It's like Drew Brees when he was in San Diego with a torn shoulder. It's pretty much the breeze he has at quarterback. That's a 16 cap, like 74 overall. He is not going to be able to sling the rock. Bang, bang, bang. Here we go, here we go. Bang, bang. So second and 10 now at the 41 yard line. And that's where he'll go and makes the first man miss. Oh. And he might be out. Jerome Baker won't catch him. And Troy Palomalu's way behind as well. And Volterax strikes twice. How frustrating is that if you're Trini, you think you finally blow him up in the backfield. He gets sticky with CJ 2K, and now Volterax has a two-score lead, and he's going to put that dominant defense out on the field. Young Trini, who's been so dominant, finds his back up against the wall in a championship game. I'll tell you what, Mo. You said it a few weeks ago that you thought Volterax was going to win the whole thing. It's looking pretty good right now, Parker. And I don't, I don't think you guys at home even understand how sticky that was. That's such a hard spin move to make. That has to happen literally a split second. He, almost every player in the world is going to lose three yards right there. Voltrax, 60-yard touchdown. We'll say a happy Friday evening to those wherever you might be. Thanks for us making us a part of your weekend. As we're getting close to the holidays, one of these guys is going to put a hundred grand in their bank account. Rivers fires uh -oh. it outside. That's John Ross, the speedster, and Tillman will chase him down. And that was that was almost a pick six, RG. Very, very close to being a pick six. Deion Sanders just not able to get there. And not only that, usually that's a touchdown. John Ross in the open field is to the cribbo, but Volt with this insane defense has the speed to catch him in the open field, and now Drini's got to continue to work. But that's got to be encouraging if you're Drini. So first and 10 now at the 43. And he'll throw the same route, and Hester tried to one-hand it, but just out of his reach. And we've seen Volt go for the interception right there. And if that's a good throw, that's going to be a touchdown because his only defender to make that, well, that would have been able to make that play was his user. And if you're Volt, you love Drini passing this early in the game. Rivers trying to buy time, has a man underneath. That's the legend. Marvin Harrison will get him inside field goal range. I am impressed with Trini, though. We were worried, would he be able to pick up this 3-4 blitz from Volt? That's a couple pass plays in a row where he's kept Phillip Rivers clean in the pocket and been able to air it out with some success. And he'll hand it off here on third down. Eric Dickerson picks up the first down. He can't get past Pat Tillman as he cuts him down at the 17. Volt's going to have to find a way to dig deep and kick three because he's not going to be able to score before the end of this half. This ball is in Drini's court right now if he's able to get a touchdown. Got three points in his back pocket here. That would make it a one possession game. But he's looking for a little more. 125 to go in the half. He's got two timeouts remaining. Going to go to the jet pass again, the jet touch pass. Better hurry up. He's running out of time on that play clock. And John Ross will get it. He'll get to the edge. And John Ross is in. Drini brings it back. 
And this is why he is one of the greatest players on the entire circuit. He goes down two possessions to the Phenom Voltarex and able to respond right back and turn it into a ball game. And this is what we expect to see in the championship of the Madden Club Championship with $100,000 on the line. Six plays, 76 yards, taking two minutes and 24 seconds. And there's the pop pass. You called it, Mo. Just way too easy. Voltrax, you got the best defense out there, but you got to be able to put them in space. You need to spread them out a little bit. You knew the touch pass was coming. So now it's just a four-point game. I think we're going to see Voltrax go to halfback dive a lot in this game. Does he even have any wide receivers? All those guys that you see even lining out wide are, are tight ends. It's all about the run block. Stretch left. And he goes to Chris Johnson, tries to cut back against the grain, and nothing's there. Maybe got two. I don't think he needed to cut back. It looked like the outside might have been open. It looked like guys were holding on to their blocks. A little bit of questionable run stick right there by Voltrex. And if you're Volt, you want to get some points here. Drini, I believe, is going to get the ball to start the second half. You don't want to give him the ball with a chance to take the lead. If you're Volt, getting three is significant because then you keep Drini having to play catch up. And we got a timeout that'll stop the clock with 45 seconds to go. Drini and the Jags. Maybe think about getting this back, Mo? No, I, I think Drini set up the wrong defense. That's actually a good timeout for Voltrax because now he's able to run the ball these next two plays and not have any worry whether or not Drini is going to score before halftime. Whereas if Drini got a stop on this down right here, he would burn one of those timeouts and leave, leave Volt at a third and long and get the ball back before halftime. But now Volt's got a little bit of a free roll chance to get points before half. See how fast he was going through those audibles on the play call screen. Hands it off. Oh, my! Have you met Pat Tillman? And that's why you spend all that cap on the All-American Pat Tillman. Comes in there and rocks CJ's world. Look at him spinning. And that's why I'm such a huge fan of Drini's game. Not using that timeout is so smart. Knowing that Voltrex is only going to run the ball, all you would do is let, it, let him have an opportunity to score. Now you don't use this timeout until you get the stop, and then you, get, you force him to punt the ball. Third and nine, hands it off. Chris Johnson gets to the one edge. One. He's got one man to beat. And Drini does a nice job of just containing the run, but he does get to midfield with one timeout remaining and just 10 ticks to go. How cool of a moment was that though? Drini versus Bolt in the open field, stick work versus stick work. And Drini able to stand up for himself and make the tackle. And a huge stop after a gain of six. And now it comes down to one final play in the quarter. He spent a lot of cap, but it wasn't on a, a super kicker. It'd be a long one from there. It'd be 61 yards. And he'll hand it off one more time. Little stop and go. Little uh -oh. spin to the uh -oh. other way. And Chris Johnson. No way. No way. No way. He's got to no get way. it. Volta oh, Rex no way. with maybe the craziest oh, run I've ever God. seen. Oh, my goodness. Did you guys just see him take two steps back after he got the ball and just kind of wait there? Led for his lineman to get up the field for the blocks. That was disgusting. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? That might have been the nastiest run we've seen in the last six years, five years of MCS play. Look at both these stops, waits, spin, Ixon. Me versus you, Drini. What you got? I'm going to outrun you. And you think he hasn't practiced that online versus quarter three deep? There's literally no doubt in my mind. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. And look at the players' lounge. Unbelievable. Volterax now in charge, 21 to 10 on the last second touchdown to end the half. And just a reminder, over the holiday week, make sure you tune in to ESPN2 on Friday, December 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern. It's a one-hour special devoted to the most memorable gameplay moments from this year's Madden NFL 20 Club Championship presented by Snickers. This will be a special that will include fresh behind the scenes, all access video of your favorite Madden pros. That's Friday, December 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. And you can see a lot of the guys you see right there hanging out in the Snickers Players Lounge. Well, gentlemen, it was a wild first half, and nothing was wilder than that last play. 
And I wish I could see Voltrax reaction after that. I want to know if we got a little oh, smile no. on uh, him. Right? I mean, how don't you? Uh, this is Star Wars week. I, I've, I've heard of, you know, use the force, but right there, he used the horse. And he got <laughs> on it, and that was insane. So the differential is now 11. You know, Drini was in a position where he was going to control this game in the second half. Now he's down two possessions and is probably going to have to go back to the pass very early in the second half. Rivers hands it off to Eric Dickerson. And Dickerson will work his way to the 38-yard line, closing in on 100. He got nine carries for 89 yards. And to me, this is just a straight momentum drive right here. If you're full, you could really take control if this game were to stop. If you're Drini and you can go down and get a touchdown, you could get yourself all the way back in the ball game. This is such an important drive in this tournament, in this championship game. Who is going to stand up for themselves? And Drini's so impressive, you know. Nobody's looked good on offense versus Volt, but Drini, very, very composed, making the right play every single time. Rivers steps, fires, and Marvin Harrison will bring it in at the 44-yard line. And here comes the second and three. I would look for Volt to make some more adjustments, maybe man some guys up, take a chance here on defense. It's the voice of Sirius Mo, two-time belt winner, RG. Former Madden Pro and also works on the game at Tiburon here at EA Sports. And Scott Cole with you. You know, it's been a wild one. We haven't seen Drini throw a lot on third and two. I think he might have to here. This is a huge play in the game. Oh my gosh, look how many people Volt has in the box. And here they come. And he can't get rid of it. Had a man open and couldn't get it out there. And that's a lapse in judgment right there by Drini. Third and two. This is how you've made your living. You just run the ball in those situations. You cannot drop back and pass versus that defense. He should have known that. And now we got a fourth and nine. This is where Volt likes to run a lot of coverage defense out this 3-3-5. Drop some guys in coverage. Rivers. There's nothing. Finds time, throws it into coverage, and it's going to be That's gonna picked be up by Volterex. Oh. It's prime time. And I don't know if you guys have heard of Hercules, but my guy Volt out here looking like Lercules. Taking away Trini's route and now has the ball up two possessions in the third quarter. And the way he runs offense, you can expect Trini not to see this ball again until at least the fourth quarter if it goes Volt's way. Chris Johnson now over 200 yards for the ball game. And Voltrax is only going to need one or two first downs in this game. He's going to use all 40 seconds every single time. We won't see him snap it under 10. That's a guarantee for the rest of this game. So a second and 11. Trini just shaking his head. He's going to need everything to go his way this next seven minutes or so. Volt's style of play just makes it so much more frustrating. And Chris Johnson, nobody's home. And Volterax with a chance to now go up 18. And we actually seen Drini come out in a 3-4 set versus that goal line offense. You need to match personnel with personnel, and it looks like he just got overpowered right there. It's just insane, man. Volterex just being able to do this on all levels, whether it's weekend league, the salary cap leaderboard, the Cardinals Club Championship are here at Redwood City at EA headquarters in the finals against one of the greatest players in the world, Drini. And look at CJ2K just doing what he's done all tournament long. And Drini's two final wins, those two belts. He outscored his opponents 81-19. to 19. This is not a familiar situation for Drini. And this is, this is in dangerous territory right now with Volt just being able to drop back in this defense. Comes across the formation. There's Marvin Harrison again. Pushes it out to the 41, and now we got no huddle. Drini's going to pick up the pace. Look for him to just hit one of these posts. He's got and him. He'll come back to Marvin Harrison. It's been a security blanket. And just like that, he's crossed midfield to the 35. I know this 3-3-5 is Volt's pass defense, but Drini looking more comfortable against this because it's just so much easier 
to not worry about the pressure in that 3-4 when Volt's just sending all the goons. Wheels out, Devin Hester! And it looked like he might have had him if he just held onto the ball with Philip Rivers. Just another split second. Hester was getting up that sideline, but Dion able to get back there. And if you're Drini, you don't want to quite give up on the run. I know you're down three possessions, but the run is what's got you here. Rivers again. And Hester, he was waiting for him to get open, but he kind of got bottled up over on the sideline. Yeah, Dion doing Dion things, just kind of riding him up the sideline, not letting him free. And remember, if Trini doesn't have the best version of, of these receivers. They're about 87, 90 overall versions of Hester, Harrison, and Holt. Holt. These aren't the full items. Rivers. Pass leads him up. And he can't get his feet in bounds. That was a circus grab. That would have been the sickest catch I've ever seen. He's going to have to take his three here. 49-yarder for Drini is up and it's good in the lead cut to 15 the time starting to slip away yeah he's gonna have to force two straight four and outs and he's gonna have to score twice and get the two-point conversion on one of those scores uphill battle if you're dreamy here what do you think Mo? Do you get more conservative and go for the four and out or do you try to make a play maybe land a user hit stick try to force a fumble you can play this a couple different ways here. Back to Chris Johnson. Big hit, but he hangs on. And that's going to send us to the fourth quarter. What a game it has been. Volterex 28, Trini 13, but we still got five minutes to go. Here at the start of the fourth quarter, presented by Snickers. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and creamy Snickers. Well, there's the Snickers Players Lounge. Still hanging out, and they've been hanging out for days, weeks, hours. A lot of those guys were so close to being in this situation. And Volt is the one that is five minutes away from winning 100 grand. And you know what? Those guys might have been close to getting in this situation, but from the way I'm seeing it, I don't think any of those 31 guy, other 30 guys would have been able to beat Voltrex. He looks so locked in right now. And even if you find something for him, he'll probably bring something out that you haven't seen yet. Second and 11. And here comes third down. Trini has won two belts, Volterax has never been in this situation. A win here would be his first. And you know, I'm gonna be interested to see if he manages this clock correctly and snaps the ball under five seconds because it looked like he actually snapped the ball a little early in that third quarter. Luckily, just broke to the outside for a touchdown. And if you're Drini, everything has went your way so far in this fourth quarter. You've, you've got the stop you needed. You're at third and eight. All you need to do is make one more play. But if it gets to fourth down, Voltrax will go for the fake punt if you allow him to. And if you're Trini, this is how you get yourself back in this ball game. You stand up for yourself right here in this third and long. This is how you get the climb up the mountain going. 4.18 to go as they hand it off to Chris Johnson one more time. And here it comes fourth down. Look, Volt's going to choose punt quickly. But, it's, but he's going to come out and fake punt. If Trini doesn't go and punt safe, I would look for Volt to run the fake punt right here. See Trini going through his play selection. He, he knows that the fake punt's likely coming. He's not fooled. He's not fooled. But the problem is, Volt's going to get really good punt coverage because Trini's going to have to come out in a standard defense. A little of that's part of scouting as Volterax has not been afraid to pull out the trick plays throughout the tournament. And this time he'll send the punting unit out. O'Donnell will punt it away. Dion won't have a chance to return, but not bad field position at the 48. An awful punt there by Voltrax. Only 22 yards. Kind of leaving Drini a, a little bit of hope in this game if he's able to score quick. Oh, man, Drini's got all kinds of hope right now. With all three of those timeouts left, if he can go down here and get a score, 
We're going to have ourselves a very interesting ball game at the end of this fourth quarter. It's just the second of four majors. Still got a ways to go in the uh -oh. season, and it's a turnover! The legend, Woodson, comes up with the pick. Ooh. And just like that, Volterax has the ball again. And Phillip Rivers with the inaccurate throw through the wheel route a little too quick. And Rod Woodson, he's not going to miss that. And that should all but do it. Second turnover of the game. Now I'm just wondering, are we going to get a smile from Bolt if he walks away from this belt? This is a guy that, you know, he's, play, he's playing for his family back home. Last time we saw him in a live event, we saw his grandpa literally drive from Massachusetts to California to support Bolte. And they got to be going crazy in the Bolte household right now. Because it's looking like he might walk away with this $100,000 and maybe bringing that Madden championship belt back to Williamstown, Massachusetts. And his grandpa was going to make the drive again. And he's driving from all the way from Massachusetts. So that's about a week long each way, you know, one way here, about a week. And it looks like Volt's just going to be able to take knees right here. Drini's not going to use these timeouts. So Volterax now under two minutes away from winning his first belt and 100 grand. And he'll go Game of Thrones one more time and bend the knee. Oh man, you just gotta be happy for this guy Volterax. It's been a long time coming. He puts everything he has into playing John Madden football and doing it on the highest level. And now he's gonna have the solidification of being a champion and no one's gonna ever be able to take this away from Michael Bryan. Well, you can see the respect between our two competitors. Drini <laughs> knows he's outmatched, but there is your champ. Volterax has done it. We see a smile, and he wins his first belt by a score of 28 to 13. And really, the entire tournament was never in question. Yeah, he played phenomenal all tournament long. Really dominated almost every single opponent he played. And going into the fourth quarter, I think of every single game, he had a two possession lead. It's just pure dominance, all the hard work, all the long nights, the hours he's putting in, playing this game. He's going to get to bring that belt back home to his family. And there isn't anyone more deserving. He's put in all the work, and now he gets to reap the benefits. 233 wins, only four losses. And he's smiling and hanging out with our own Evan. Uh, congratulations, Volterax. You are the brand new Madden 20 NFL Club champion. Let's give him one more round of applause from studio Woo! audience, guys. <laughs> you know, Volt, this is, this is such a, a huge accomplishment. And for someone 22 years old to have done this uh, is remarkable. How, do, in your own words, does this make you feel, knowing what you've just done? Uh, this is amazing. I mean, I've been playing Madden now since Madden 16, and I've never made a deep run in the tournament, and this is the first time, and I'm just glad I could come out with the championship. You know, for me, seeing the way that you reacted when winning that, it felt like almost a weight was off your shoulders a little bit. Can you talk to me about that? Yeah, well, I mean, I've been, I play the game a lot. I play, the, like, every day, for pretty much most of the day, and, I mean, I've never really made a deep run, but I, now I can finally prove myself. I finally made it worth it, and now I have a championship belt. Now, did you end up getting some family out here? Oh, uh, no, I didn't. Not this my, time, right? My grandpa, he was planning on coming out, but yeah. there was some bad weather, so he decided not to last minute. But he's definitely watching, right? Oh, uh, yeah. So I want to give a shout-out to my whole family, my mom, <laughs> my dad, my grandma and grandpa. I'm pretty sure they're all at home watching right now. So let's talk about a little bit of the game because, you know, I, I know there's a lot of other life impact that just happened, but let's talk about your use of Chris Johnson. How did that go for I mean, obviously it was uh, really hard to stop, almost impossible. Yeah, well, a lot of people like to use abilities on their running back. And I, I choose not to because the, the fatigue, it, it drains faster yeah. when you have the ability. And I, I don't like that. So I, I want a fresh running back, and he's 97 speed for me. And I feel like I can, I can use my stick work and, and not have to rely on jukebox or something like that. And talking about jukes, talking about stick work, you got a couple plays that made us uh, go a little crazy over here. One in particular, I want you to walk me through this. Oh, uh, yeah, so I've actually labbed up a run for three deep. I mean, what? Right there. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you lab that up? That was all practice? Yeah, I've ran this for my <coughs> friends whenever they come out in three deep at the end of half. And it, it doesn't work all the time, but it definitely works some of the time. I've gotten a few of those before. 
Dorita looks like he, he cannot believe that that actually worked. He's like, that did not happen to me in a tournament. But it did. Volt, you were always so unconventional in the way you approached this tournament from every single thing that you decided to do in building your team. But you've earned a lot of respect by continuing to perform and perform and perform. And now, you know, you're a major winner. You've got that belt. What does it mean for you in the Madden community to have done something like this and, and earn the respect of your peers outright? I mean, it means a lot because, like I said before, I put a lot of time into the game and I've never really made a deep run in a tournament, but now I finally got to. And I want to give a huge shout out to some of my friends that helped me. Go ahead. Uh, Jeff helped me, uh, Crush, Colin, Kev, Henry, and then there's a lot more out there that also helped, but those are just some of them. So, Volt, obviously, it's not every day a 22-year-old randomly gets $100,000 in their bank account. I wish that was the truth for all of us, but that's not the case. What does that mean for you in your life? Anything you're going to do with it, plans, school, what, house, what, what's going on? Uh, I'm definitely going to save it. Uh, I'm actually t taking some – I'm planning on taking a college course. Well, oh, great. I, I, well, I was taking it, but I took a break for this tournament to, pre to prepare for it, yeah. and it paid off. So I'm going to go back to college after taking online courses after, after the Madden season's over. You know, you're a student of Madden. Now you'll be an actual student in real life with the money infusion. Thank you so much, guys. Let's give one more round of applause for our Madden NFL 20 Club Championship champion, Volterax. Let's get it to James for some highlights. Evan Rayner, thank you.